with some bloody awesome Aussie meat boy for y'all tonight. Yeah. Chef Max Chef Maurizio And today we're going to use a special ingredient Kangaroo meat And this obviously means We will perform a lovely Australian meat pie Stay tuned to what's coming next Ingredients Garlic Kangaroo meat mate Shut the space lead Bravo show! One question! Beef stock. Okay, so to start off with, you get the onion and you remove the peel. And now you have to get, once the onion is ready, you get a corkscrew and you have to drill a hole inside. Now we will tell you why. This is a special technique. Get the spindle, place the onion inside. Nice and firm, as you can see. You cut, slice, slice to a perfect distance. And this is done so that, the, so that you have some extra plastic in the flavor of the onion as well. So now it's time to crush the garlic. By doing this, you can use the spindle we used before in the onion cutting maneuvering techniques. And then you throw it. And now the onions are finely crushed and pulverized. Why do you think we have an egg cutter on the show? Did we mention eggs? Of course not. Because we are going to use it to cut the mushrooms. All right, so now Mauro is there preparing the lovely onions, garlic and mushrooms. Now it's time to tenderize the meat. Kangaroo meat. And you have to put the meat underneath the chopping board. Now this is done to tenderize. You can tenderize in various ways. You can hit. You can slam. But the ultimate best way to do so is to use your own body weight. And lay down on the meat and tenderize it properly. 120 kilos meat on meat. Perfect tenderization skills. If you decide to pop, you will do an even better. And if you shake, you will make sure you are tenderizing the meat even further. Okay, Maurice, come help me a bit. What are you doing? Help me shake. Help me shake. And if you shake, shake it and tender. You can use any regular scissors. Your mother's scissor is obviously the best. So now it's time to transfer the meat into the frying pan. You do so by throwing the meat. As you can see, Mauro is strategically catching any piece of meat that there is okay. there. You can also use, it, use this as a game with your family and friends. It is extremely safe. It is important to do so with boiling oil inside the frying pan. You have to add the pre-fried garlic, onions and mushrooms to the whole mix. While the meat is simmering, with it, it's time to add the final ingredient to the broth, which is the lager. You have to shake the beer as much as you can. Shake it as hit it a bit, hit it a bit. You have to go as hard as you can, and then you get your puncturing device, you do this, and you put beer as much as you can inside. And as you can see, the beer went inside the pan strategically simmer in two seconds. So now it's time to flatten out the pastry. You get the pastry, go from high as possible, and you start smashing. Get, 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 get! Get, get, get! More, more! More, more, more! Flat! Now it's time to put the dough inside the pan. So the kangaroo filling is ready. And it is time to transfer the filling into the dish. Beautiful and plump. Very nice. Now it's time to cover our lovely and beautiful pie with pigsty in the kitchen. 
now a neck wash for over the pipe. Back for around half an hour. Now you wait. So now the pie is finally done and ready. Morris, get the pie and show it to them. Hard on the outside, definitely soft and smooth and juicy on the inside. Crispy. If you press it here, you can see the juice coming out. Look at the lovely juices. Okay, so now it's time to remove the pie. One like this, look. Boop, boop, ready, it's in, as you can see. Let's do this. We have finished once again with the lovely dish Australian kangaroo meat pie. Trust me, yeah, you, you have to try this at home as it is delicious, easy, and yet efficient for Mother Nature and everyone. But remember always the bigger the mess, the better the taste. So go, do it, destroy everything. I love you all. Thank you very much for seeing. Bye bye. bye, -bye. See you. Bye bye.